Well, by now you have likely heard or maybe even experienced that it is definitely one of those really bad flu seasons this year and cases of influenza are certainly on the rise and the flu season itself looks to be peaking early this year as a result. Well, tonight, two on your sides, Erica Brecker talked with an infectious disease doctor about some of your top questions and the top takeaways that you need to know this season. No one ever said the flu shot was perfect. A common question is, does it work? We're working very hard to get a flu vaccine that gives us 100% uh, protection against infection. Uh, but presently, our vaccine uh, really only affords about 40% protection from preventing infection. If you do get infection, however, it probably attenuates the course or your symptoms will be less severe. In short, the flu shot can really only help. You protect yourself, those around you, or at the very least, your flu symptoms should be less severe. This year's vaccine only protects about 30% of flu. And compounding that is that this year's aggressive strain is strong. You know, the flu is transmitted by droplets in the air. If you're in close proximity that someone is infected, which you should try to avoid and they should try to avoid you. But the other is if those droplets get on a surface and you touch it. This one's about preventing the spread of flu or how you may catch it. Sneeze into your inner elbow instead of tissues that then lie around with germs on them. Washing your hands may be a no brainer, but did you know that you should do it for 30 seconds? Sometimes we're a little quick on it. And how do you know when you're no longer contagious? Probably the best guidance, whether you're taking flu medicine or not, is you'll be infectious for at least a day uh, uh, after your fever breaks. So if you have no fever for a day, you're probably OK to go back to work. But we all know in our society, we're pretty quick to go back to work right away. But a person with a full blown case of the flu may have that lasting fever and be out of work for five to seven days. Dr. Russo says take the time you need for the sake of yourself and others. You can see the entire hour long interview with Dr. Russo, which covers children, allergies and more on the two on your side Facebook page. Erica Brecker, Channel 2 News.